Good morning, everyone. So remember in college when you took your science classes and there were two parts, there was lecture, which was so boring, usually some fat old man droning on for hours about boring stuff. And then there was lab, <laughs> and lab was always so fun because you got to play with all kinds of stuff. So for today's video, we're going to get out of the lecture on silver glass, and we're going to actually make a bead. I call these my silver threads. We're going to use both striking glass and reduction glass. Let's go play in the lab. Okay, our colors for today are Double Helix Okeanos. I love this glass because you don't have to do a whole lot to it to get it to strike. Um, and that's good because I'm still practicing my striking technique. So yeah, I love Okeanos. And then for the threads, I'm going to pull some stringers of Double Helix Helios and that's gonna be our reduction glass on our threads. Okay, here we go. Um, if you guys remember from my Striking Terra 3 video, there are two ways that you can strike glass. So one of them is to strike it after you put it on your bead, and the other one is to strike the rod while you're using it. Now, with this glass, Okeanos, it really lends itself to being struck while you are using it. So I am getting that little gather super, super hot. And then I am just going to make a coil um, around this base. I use dark ivory as the base because I want to see if it changes up anything if I get a different look. So what I'm doing is I'm just basically striking this glass or resetting it, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, wrong technical term. I am resetting it as I put it down on my bead. And then once I get it laid down, um, I'm gonna take a look at it, let it cool, take a look. Let, we'll see if we need to strike it any further. But when I made the first bead, I was like, oh wow, this looks cool just like it is. And I didn't feel the need to drive myself crazy trying to strike Okeanos because I'm still a little insecure about striking this glass. I'm not quite sure why, but just striking was hard for me. I think I'm pulling it off though, but it's still like, I feel just, oh my God, I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Oh, what if I screw up? I got those feelings, you know, just being scared. Who ever heard of being scared of melting glass? <laughs> All right, so there we go. Now, you will notice on the speed, I've got a lot of the color um, striations. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and heat it up and just shape it on my little roller here. I want a nice barrel. And I do want the glass melted in. So we're going to heat it up. And then I'm just going to roll it straight because it looks a little wonky, wonk sided. It's got wonk sides. We can't have wonk sides in our bead. Um, okay, so what else was I going to say? Oh, so this glass also, if you remember, you can get the marbling striations by doing the coils. Oh man, you know what? I really like this glass. I really like the colors. Check it out. So I've got all of my striations and blues and purples and some greens. I don't know that I want to strike it anymore. Maybe in here a little bit. So remember striking, it is on a neutral flame. And I'm gonna stick my bead. Okay, under the table, it looks cool. So let's just strike this area right here. And I'm going for that glowing skin, that orange glowing skin. And let's see what happens. Nothing. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Orange glowing skin. And I'm gonna whoop out my tool here to see if maybe the tool helps it cool off a bit. And I can get 
I can get some action going. All right. Oh, there it is right there. There's a little bit. I don't know. I still like this bead just the way it is. I think I'm going to leave it. Okay. I got my barrel made. Keep it warm. And now we're going to go for our silver threads with Helios. And again, Helios is a reduction glass. So I am going to reset it as I lay down those stringers. And it's just a matter of laying down stringers and kind of putting them on top of each other, making it look like, you know what this reminds me of? Like one of my very, very first videos last year was on tangle beads. And so I am just putting a tangled mess of Helios threads all over the top of this bead. And you guys can load them up as much as you like. I go all the way to the edge on these because I think it looks so cool. And I made about six stringers because I was afraid I'd run out. But after you make a couple of these, you'll figure out how many you need. I also have long nails that I just painted last night and I don't want to set my fingers on fire. So I don't want to get too close to the end of that stringer. Ask me how I know these things. <laughs> All right, down goes the second stringer. And what's cool is that while you're putting down this second set of threads, your first set is cooling. So you don't have to wait any additional time to start striking. You could just go for it. These are so pretty. I don't know why I really like this bead, but it's very, very pretty. I actually have one in my Etsy shop if you guys are so inclined. Okay, we're getting toward fingernail fire time. Now, you know what? On this end, it looks like it all melted in and it's a little burned. I don't have all the texture that I want. So I'm just going to lay down a few more layers here. Oh, look, look at me being an artist. Oh, I don't like the aesthetics of this end. I'm going to make the other end. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, time to reduce. So I'm going to turn down my flame a little bit, and I'm going to turn up that propane, right? And then we're going to stick it right there at the tippy tip just for a bit, give it a spin, give this other end a spin. Now Helios, I think I told you guys the last time, um, it'll go silver, but it also has like some pinks in it um, when you reduce it multiple times here. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. So pull it in and out of that propane flame Take a look at it. It kind of has to cool a little for you to really get a good view of what's going to happen. But I like it. Ooh, I like it a lot. Okay, guys, that, let me turn it off so you can see and get some light on it and get it in focus. That is my silver thread bead with Okeanos and Helios. Have a great day. And I will be back soon with another video. Bye, you guys. Hi, everyone. So copyright has reared its head in my life. So here is my copyright statement. And I'll let you read it because it's too boring. Uh, basically, you can't reproduce this video without permission. So send me an email. I'd be happy to talk to you. Uh, the bead that's in this video is also copyright protected. However, you are granted permission to make this bead for yourself or as a gift for your friends or to donate to a charity. However, please don't sell any of these beads because I'm selling mine. However, if you want to sell this bead, send me an email. We can work out a simple licensing agreement. I'm happy to work with all of you. So have a great day, all. Talk to you soon. Bye.